I am the infantry. Trust me. Follow me. This is the house that Selfless Service built to honor selfless service. This is what we owe those who went before. This is their place. This is their home. This is their legacy. A dream years ago to honor our soldiers became tangible to the estimated 4,000 people that witnessed the grand opening of the National Infantry Museum and Soldier Center at Patriot Park. This is hallowed ground for honoring the past, present, and future soldiers who have fought for and protected the freedoms every American enjoys. The chairman of the National Infantry Foundation, Major General Retired Jerry White, brought in his good friend and former infantryman, General Colin Powell, to help with the dedication. People often ask me after I became chairman or secretary of state, where did you learn about leadership? Is it, was it in graduate school? Was it at the War College? And the answer is always the same, no, it was at Fort Benning. After a brief ceremony, it was time to officially open the doors. The ceremonial sword that was used was the same one that General Omar Bradley used to cut the ribbon opening the first National Infantry Museum in 1977. Visitors lined up to hear the stories of sacrifice captured inside these walls. So all those soldiers that have given their lives for this country is here today. And this museum helps honor them, honor our veterans, and the long, long history of service. We're so thankful for this beautiful, beautiful museum celebrating every one of them. I have been to many museums and I've seen a lot of military museums. There's nothing quite like this one. It is extraordinary. The history can become dull and dry if it's just left in books. With a place like this, you are seeing history living itself out, history in action. Now that the vision of General White has come to fruition, he hardly has the words to welcome it. Happiest day of my life. We are finally doing what we've set out to do for so long, and that's to honor these great soldiers. And, and I am completely satisfied we did it in the absolute first class way we set out to do it. So this is Jerry White's happiest moment, and uh, nothing will ever top this. Susanna Avery, Fort Benning TV.